Diane in Denmark here. Let me just get the timer started. There we go, and we're off. Uh, I'm doing a question answer video today. Um, do not adjust your sets. We have full sunshine coming in from the overhead window there. Uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm trying to kind of move somewhere that you'll be able to see me and I'll be able to see you. Anyway, um, a question and answer video today. Uh, we're going to be talking for about 15 minutes. If you've got laundry to fold, um, let, let's do that. Maybe you, it's time for your pamper, you know, get, get your feet up, get a glass of water or a cup of coffee. Uh, but please remember, even, even watching my videos, just set your timer just for 15 minutes so you don't kind of get swallowed into that black hole of uh, the internet or, or YouTube. Anyway, uh, question and answer session today. Not sure when I will to upload this video. You'll see it when, when, uh, when it's uploaded. Um, if you're new to my channel, hi and welcome. And uh, a, a big group hug to everybody who's been with me for a while. We pom pom salute. My, my channel is all about helping you. And I'm here to be your cheerleader, to encourage you, hopefully to motivate you help you find some simple routines which will just make life easier for you. And I, I've said many times before that and I try to keep this a really positive place. We've got a really lovely little community here. Uh, and I'm not one of those YouTubers who's going to say, please um, subscribe and give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. I, I will be making these videos wh whether you subscribe or not. But in return, uh, I expect some respect and that we keep it light here. So if you don't have something positive to say, feel free just to jog on somewhere else. We're, we're, we're keeping it positive here. Uh, as I say in, in Denmark, if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. So anyway, now, now that we've got the ground rules on and hopefully you've got yourself a cup of coffee or you've got your laundry to fold, let's get into it. Uh, when I do these question answer sessions, I try and answer any questions that have can come in from you on uh, Instagram or on YouTube. And it's just a wee roundup of uh, various, various things that have come up. So uh, I've written down a few things. Um, there's a couple of fly lady questions, as always, a couple of uh, dressing your truth questions. Anyway, I'll start with the fly lady stuff. I noticed, especially on Instagram, quite a few of you have been uh, having a tough time the last couple of weeks. I've been in the same camp. Um, my routines were kind of off and, uh, you know, th things just weren't going right. The, the kids have been ill and I I've been feeling it a lot. We we've got a lot of pollen here right now. And, and I just wanted to give you a bit of advice. If, you if you're feeling that, you know, things just aren't, you know, clicking for you, you may need to just take that step back and look at your, your daily routines, you know, your morning routine and your evening routine. If, 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 you want to, if you want to help with setting up some good routines, I've got a whole routines playlist. I'll, I'll put a link up there uh, and there's lots of tips and tricks of how to adapt the routines to whether you are retired or whether you're working outside the home, whether you have kids, uh, whether you have health issues. But if you're having trouble at, at the moment, and you know, I, I was the same the last couple of weeks and and if, if I'm honest with myself, I haven't been doing my routines as I, I normally do. Normally, you know, I, I look at my outfit the day before, right down to uh, jewellery, underwear, socks, the, the whole shebang. And I was kind of winging it a bit thinking, oh, gosh, there goes an earring. Uh, I was winging it a bit thinking, oh, well, I know what I'm wearing. And, and it doesn't work for me because then I get up in the morning and then I'm kind of scrambling around trying to find stuff. And the other thing was I had to, um, hold on, get my earring back in again. Uh, the other thing was I, I have been kind of setting the alarm clock for 10 or 15 minutes later than I usually do in the morning. Thinking, oh, well, you know, I deserved a, a wee bit more time uh, to lie in the morning. And you know, it has backfired, it didn't work for me. And I, I really don't like the way that feels. So I, I suddenly feel like I'm not in control. So what I did was I just went back to basics, got my routines and I'm kind of checking them off every day. Usually my routines are automatic, but even me, you know, I used to be a fly lady mentor. My routines uh, are kind of, you know, they're, they're, they're just automatic. And, and if I don't do them, something feels off. It's been really helpful for me just to go right back to basics, just check them off, you know, one by one. And 
when it came down to it, when, when I, I did a brain dump, I took everything out of my head and I put it on a list, uh, one of my getting things done lists. I, I've explained that to you before. I'll, I'll put a link up there also about getting things done. When I actually did a brain dump, I wasn't kind of behind and there wasn't anything really urgent. It was just that I hadn't been aware of what was going on around me. I hadn't been following my daily routines, making sure, you know, what, what was the daily focus, whether it was errand day or a weekly home blessing hour. So just taking that step back, taking a breath, uh, you know, setting your timer for 10 minutes with a cup of tea or a cup of coffee, a pencil and a notebook, and just taking time to find out what, what's going on with you. So hopefully that will help you get back on board. And remember, you're, you're never behind, but sometimes we just need to take stock and say, you know, are things going well at the moment? Just kind of uh, take the temperature of things. So that, that was something I noticed uh, from a few of you on, uh, on Instagram. Uh, there was also a question, I think also on Instagram, about um, fly ladies, uh, you know, uh, the, the cleaning thing, you know, like weekly home blessing hour, uh, the routines, the zone cleaning. How much time do I spend per week on fly lady? And we've had this question before, and, and it's, all, it's always useful to, to go through it again. I, I don't have a set amount of time that I spend each day on, you know, fly lady cleaning. And I, that, that's not the purpose of the fly lady uh, way. We, we've, got, we've got the kind of, uh, the plan for what needs done. When you've got the fly lady system, you know what needs done every day. You do your morning routine, you do your evening routine. Once a week, you do your weekly home blessing hour, which is a one hour clean of the high traffic, listen here, the high traffic areas of your house, not the whole house. And if you're consistent with that, everything will tick along nicely. Once you've been consistent with that for a while, then you can start adding in a bit of zone cleaning. But you've seen from my videos, I don't, and generally speaking, I would spend maybe 15 minutes at the beginning of the week working on the zone cleaning. And I set my timer, uh, you've seen in my videos, uh, you know, I, I, I do the ceilings, I do the skirting boards, I dust off the flat surfaces, I'll generally do uh, the windows, and it doesn't take me more than 15 minutes. And then the rest of the week, when I've got two minutes, three minutes here and there in the morning when I'm getting ready or you know waiting for coffee to brew, I can do a, a few more things in that zone. I'm not spending 15 minutes every day cleaning. If you want to spend 15 minutes every day cleaning, that's fine, but set your timer, okay? Because we, we tend to go overboard with these things. Um, and that, another question that I got about Fly Lady which was on YouTube. Uh, it's actually three people have asked me this week, do I clean in the clothes that I'm wearing for the day? Now, if you've seen, if you've been with me for a long time, you'll have seen me cleaning uh, the bathroom, you'll have seen me cleaning the kitchen in the clothes that I'm wearing for the day, whether it be uh, you know, a sweater and a blouse, or whether it be one of my little jackets and a top. How, how can I clean in my everyday clothes without changing into you know, an apron or some old sweatpants? It's because I'm cleaning consistently, which means I'm not spending more than 10 or 15 minutes max cleaning. And I, I don't have to use toxic products, you know, bleach and silic bang, all that stuff, because I don't need it. But because we're cleaning consistently, we don't need all those really, uh, um, bad products, I mean, they're, they're bad for the environment, they're bad for you, you know, for breathing in, they're bad for your pets, they're bad for your kids. So when you're cleaning the Fly Lady way, that's one of the reasons I love the Fly Lady system. We, we can really go green with our cleaning. We're cleaning a little bit consistently, so things never get so bad that you need to bring out those really toxic uh, products and the hazmat suit and the gloves and, you know, protect your clothing. I, you've seen me, I, I use uh, environmentally friendly products, haven't been tested on animals, uh, and it doesn't matter if I, if I get any on my clothes, because all my clothes are washable. If you're worried about cleaning with your, uh, you know, maybe you're just one of those messy types managed to, to splash yourself, then, you know, go ahead and change into a, a t-shirt, you know, an old t-shirt, or wear an apron, 
but when you've finished your cleaning, you know, change back into your ordinary clothes again. So anyway, I hope, I hope that um, covered that. Dressing your truth. I know a lot of you have been really interested in the dressing your truth uh, system. I've made videos about that. I, I am a type one secondary four energy in the dressing your truth system. And I get a lot of questions. What, what has been the, uh, what would I recommend as the best way to figure out your type? The best ways to watch the Dressing Your Truth uh, videos that there is a free course called, uh, if you go to dressingyourtruth.com, remember I'm not affiliated with anybody, I, I just love the Dressing Your Truth uh, program. Dressingyourtruth.com, there is a free online course and look very carefully at that. You have to look at your, your face shapes, you know, whether you've got a little button nose like me and uh, round um, uh, eyebrows and uh, apple cheeks or whether you've got um, you know a lump of clay nose and so it's all to do with your face your, your face will tell you who you are and also your body language and how you move through your day don't don't make the mistake that I make made of kind of you know and, and my first tip was type one and then I started reading about the other types and, and went into the behaviour thing. Your behaviour, how you behave, can be changed by family illness. That, that's what happened to me. I, I moved over into a different energy. Uh, or it could be because you've had some kind of trauma in your childhood or you're going through a divorce. Or, you know, they're all different things which can kind of put you off course behaviour wise. So look at your energy and your face and uh, Carol Tuttle who came up with the system she's got tons of videos uh, free videos on YouTube so subscribe to her she's got tons of new ones uh, where she will guide you through the process and if like me you're kind of confused I joined the lifestyle group that's on through dressing your truth there is a paid um, subscription you can have to lifestyle now you can get it for a month and i went for the year because i took it for one month and it has been so much fun and i've learned so much i've gone for the year subscription that that's just me and i'm not telling you to spend any money uh, but the the video is in there it's really been an eye opener to me how to uh, it just kind of confirms my not just the colors that i should be wearing but also my style now I, I see now why i why i'm drawn to certain patterns and the stripes that's my secondary four coming in uh, and, and how you can get your individual style and the other thing that was very eye-opening for me is how dressing your truth goes very nicely with the fly lady system and i didn't see that coming uh, as to how I do, for example, my routines. Now, I'm a type one, uh, and we're kind of, uh, we have this connect and disconnect energy. We're kind of upwards and, and, and uh, outwards. Uh, and, and, and that doesn't mean, you know, you're an introvert and an extrovert. I, I'm actually an, an introvert. Um, you know, I, I seem like an extrovert type, but I, I'm only uh, extrovert with people that I'm very close to or, or, or you know, if it's a subject that, that I love, then, then I feel extrovert. I'm, I'm an introvert type, but my energy is upwards and outwards. And I, I realised when watching some of the lifestyle videos, there was a really interesting one about how you go through your morning routine. And I can see that I'm type one. You know, I have my morning routine, but I don't always do it in the same order. You know, um, getting out of bed, making the bed, getting dressed to shoes, putting on a load of laundry, uh, running the dishwasher. I kind of jump from, you know, I'm, I'm connect, disconnect, and I'm all over the place. I'm very random. So I go, I don't always do my morning routine in the same order, but I get it all done. So that's my way of doing my morning routine. I'm a type one. Now my daughter, she is a type four in the dressing your truth system. And you can kind of set your clock by my daughter because she does things in exactly the same order every single day. Uh, you know, she gets up and then she does this and then she does that and then she brushes her teeth and then she does her hair and then she makes her packed lunch and then she'll be sitting on the stairs waiting uh, to leave the house in the morning to, to walk to school and then that, you know, if it was me, I would just get going or I'd maybe be running a bit late, but she's like, no, she, you know, once the, the, the hand moves to like seven, uh, 
25, then it's her, her time to go. So it, it really, uh, it, it might help you with your fly lady routines to know what type you are, whether, you know, whether, whether you are, uh, whether it would benefit you to, to go through things one by one, or if you're like me and you just need the list of what you need to get done, but tackle it in, in a different, uh, you know, time frame. Anyway, enough about that. Uh, let me see what else was going on. Oh, yeah. Um, so anyway, so if you're not sure if you're dressing your truth type, there's plenty of videos on lifestyle which will help confirm that. And, and if you don't want to pay for it, there's plenty of stuff on YouTube. Uh, I'll, I'll put a link to, to Carol's uh, YouTube down below. And uh, while we're on the subject of YouTube, I, I want to give a wee uh, shout out to another YouTuber who's called The Secret Slob. Now, don't worry about the name, she's really, she's a lovely uh, young lady uh, called Steph and she's got a YouTube channel. Now she started it, it must have been a year ago, uh, and she made a video the other day about her, uh, it's been a year since she started doing uh, Fly Lady. Um, and she, she found out about Fly Lady through her mum, uh, who had put her on to me. Uh, and so hello to Steph and hello to your mum, whoever your, your mum is who's been watching. And she did the 31 days of baby step videos. So I'll, I'll put a link up there, you know, the 31 days of, from chaos to clean. I, I've walked you through the 31 days of baby stepping. And it was just so funny to, to see that I made these videos like a couple of years ago and somebody else has seen such huge changes in the house and, and she's got a, a lovely uh, YouTube channel so you can, can go and say hello to her. And I was reading the comments uh, on one of her videos and uh, because Steph had men men mentioned that uh, she followed me and that's how she had done Fly Lady and one of her uh, subscribers asked her, <laughs> was I uh, her mother? Was I the mother of the secret slot? So anyway, hello to Steph and uh, it, it's just nice how we have this lovely community, you know, we're, we're all just trying to help each other, keep things positive and let, let's just keep it going, you know. And on that subject, um, I, I've had, I, I, I don't, um, as a rule, answer any direct messages or private messages. I like to keep my boundaries. Uh, if you have a question to ask, please ask, uh, you know, in, in the um, public forum here, either on in Instagram or on YouTube. Uh, and I'm not, this is not a business for me, I'm, I'm doing this in my spare time and I try and help as many people as possible. But I get an awful uh, lot of uh, weird messages that come in from, you know, private messages and direct messages. So I, I don't look at those very often. And so if you've got something uh, that, that you need help with, you know, ask it in, in the public forum. Uh, and, and also some of you are, are really kind and, and want to send me gifts and whatever. I, I can't accept uh, any gifts. I mean, you've seen I don't do affiliate links and stuff like that. And uh, I, I need to keep my boundaries. So it's, it's lovely that you want to send me you know, a, a thank you gift uh, or, or something like that. I, I can't accept it. But what you could do is maybe uh, invite a, a friend that you haven't seen for a long time for a coffee or give a small donation to one of your favorite charities. You know, let, let's just uh, keep the, the good stuff going and, and, and help one another here. So anyway, on that note, <gasps> the timer is nearly around. Let me just check my list, see if there are any other questions. No, I think I'm gonna wrap up there for uh, just now. Uh, remember, we are doing a little challenge at the moment. I know you all <laughs> love a good challenge. We're doing the 31 days uh, of exercise challenge all through the month of May where we're moving in May it's the, the fly lady habit for the month we're not moving house in May we're just moving in May getting some extra exercise in just to uh, keep us fit and well uh, so join in with us and remember uh, you can always catch me as well on Instagram if you're interested in what's going on in Denmark uh, I, I share snippets from a day little Danish lessons um, and you can see me going about my routine. So anyway, on that note, all I've got left to say is live long and prosper. Remember, whatever you're doing, just, just keep putting one foot in front of the other and know that I'll be thinking about you and giving you a rah, 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 and a wee shake of my pom-poms. Uh, and I shall, as usual, see you on the other side. Okay, live long and prosper.